today I am going to make salmon skin on fillets. I love the skin on them. I love the skin on all fish because it's crunchy, it's good, get that flavor. And I'm also making Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. This is not old people food. This is good people food. <laughs> I'm going to sear these in the frying pan. Oh my goodness. Add some butter. Watch. You about to watch. Brussels sprouts. I got a couple fresh ones too. I think that might be enough for breakfast. Well, it's more like a brunch. Because it's 2-11. <laughs> Ain't no breakfast at 2-11. What else we got? I got the fillets. I already stuck them in the water to throw them out. About to cut these open and season them. The pan is getting hot. I want my pan too hot. That should be enough. Uh, Brussels sprouts. About a tablespoon. I'm gonna take a little bit of this grease, this hot grease out of here, because I don't need this much to cook the salmon. I'm going to put it in this pan, this frying pan back here for the uh, when I sear the Brussels sprouts. So I got to season my fish with this red lobster seafood seasoning. I love this seasoning. Get that on there. Both sides. These salmon fish fillets from Walmart, the frozen ones, they look so tired. I really love fresh salmon. It tastes better. It's fresh. It's awesome. These look just so thin and little and just, they just look like they sleep. So, but I always have to have something frozen in the freezer so that I can have something quick on days like today when it's already 2.15 and I still have to go to work. So, um, I work night shift. So... This um is going to have to do, and I'm going to hook it up. It's going to taste so good. Watch. You're going to see. Put some of this on it. That fish fry seasoning. Mm. Just take a spoonful of it. Sprinkle it on. That should be enough for both sides. Turn it over. Get it all nice and in there. Yeah. I don't need a whole lot. And then get it in that grease. Yes. That grease is nice and hot. Same thing with this one. All right, now I'm gonna take the Brussels sprouts and drain them in the colander. While that's draining, I'm gonna put the grease on this hot burner. This is how I sear my Brussels sprouts. They already steamed to a little light boil in the pan. Then I cut them each down the middle, like that. My fish should have a nice crunch on the back by now. Yes. Yes, I like that crunch on the back. Okay. So back to the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to take about a tablespoon of this lemon pepper and sprinkle it on all of them. You don't want a lot because the lemon pepper can really be overpowering. Then black pepper. That shouldn't come off. Black pepper. It's a half turn over each one, over each group. And then I have this season, this new seasoning called ginger, ginger garlic pimentos. I'm gonna try this. I never tried it before. This is my first time. Just sprinkle that evenly. And I told y'all in my last video, I wanted to taste this uh, smoked paprika on other food. So I'm going to try it on my Brussels sprouts. I'm always dropping something. 
Oh, that looks so colorful. Look how pretty that looks. I like that color. Back over here. We're going to put these in the frying pan and turn them all over. So we got to turn them each over so that they flat, the flat side is there. Because we want the flat side to sear. Okay. So my meal is ready. Fried salmon with seared Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Mmm. And I got melted butter to pour on the Brussels sprouts. Oh my god. That's an extra 250 calories. If you're wondering. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. I'm going to taste the fish first. Oh wow. Let me show you guys. Look at this fish. Mmm. That tastes really good to be frozen fish. It's the seasonings that make it taste good. Well, let's taste these Brussels sprouts, see what they doing. See that nice little sear? That's seared Brussels sprouts right there. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You gotta try this. What I put on it? Lemon pepper, smoked paprika, the garlic pimento seasoning. <sighs> mm. This is delicious. With the butter. Mm. 